Have you ever wondered why Afghanistan, nestled in the heart of Asia, has been a focal point of global interest throughout history? Welcome to our geographical exploration of Afghanistan, a landlocked country that sits at the crossroads of South and Central Asia. Its strategic location and rich history have made it a cradle of cultures and a hub of ancient trade routes. It shares its borders with six nations. To the north, we find Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, while to its east, it's bordered by China and Pakistan. To the west, it meets Iran. Being landlocked has had profound implications on Afghanistan's history and culture. Its geographical position has made it a nexus of diverse cultural influences, as well as a hotbed for geopolitical struggles. From the bustling cities to the rugged mountain ranges and rich biodiversity, Afghanistan's geography offers a unique tapestry of experiences and stories. This unique positioning has shaped Afghanistan's history, culture, and people in fascinating ways. So let's dive in and explore this captivating nation. To fully comprehend Afghanistan's geographical significance, we must step back in time. Picture the ancient Silk Road, a network of trade routes connecting the East and the West. Afghanistan sitting at the heart of Asia was a crucial crossroads on this historic highway. Its strategic location influenced the flow of goods, ideas and cultures, leaving indelible imprints on its landscape and people. Now, let's shift our gaze to the 19th century. The Great Game, a geopolitical tug of war between the British and Russian empires, played out across Afghanistan's rugged terrain. Its mountain passes, deserts and fertile valleys were the backdrop to many clandestine operations, as these two superpowers vied for control and influence. This period of intense rivalry and espionage further shaped the country's geographical narrative. Fast forward to the 20th century, Afghanistan's geography continued to play pivotal roles in shaping its history. The Cold War saw Afghanistan become a battleground for ideological warfare between the United States and the Soviet Union. The country's mountains and valleys bore witness to fierce conflicts, which have left scars that can still be seen today. In more recent times, the War on Terror, initiated in the aftermath of the September 11th attacks, brought Afghanistan back into the global spotlight. Its challenging topography has been both a boon and a bane, offering natural defenses, but also hindering development and accessibility. Each of these historical events has been intrinsically linked to Afghanistan's geography. The Silk Road facilitated the exchange of goods and ideas, shaping the country's socio-economic landscape. The Great Game and the Cold War exploited its strategic position and varied terrain, leaving a legacy of geopolitical turmoil. The War on Terror has highlighted the challenges and potential of its rugged and diverse landscape. In essence, Afghanistan's geography is a living testament to its historical narrative. The land bears the physical and metaphorical marks of centuries of travel, trade, conflict and change. Each era, each conflict has etched its mark on the land, creating a rich tapestry of human history. Now journey with us as we explore Afghanistan's major cities. First up we have Kabul, the capital and largest city of Afghanistan, nestled in a narrow valley along the Kabul River. Its strategic location has made it a significant trade hub for centuries, with routes leading to both India and Central Asia. Kabul's geographical features reflect the city's rich history and diverse culture. The city is surrounded by lofty hills and mountains, providing natural fortifications against invasions. But it's not all about defense, these hills are also home to lush gardens and parks that offer a respite from the bustling city life. Next, we travel south to Kandahar, the second largest city of Afghanistan. Situated in a wide flat plain, Kandahar is encircled by barren desert and rolling hills. The Argandab River meanders nearby, giving life to the arid landscape and aiding in the cultivation of lush vineyards and orchards. Kandahar's location has long made it a crossroads of trade and a melting pot of cultures. Lastly, we journey to the ancient city of Herat in the west. This city, perched near the border with Iran, lies in a fertile valley irrigated by the Hari River. The surrounding landscape is a patchwork of wheat fields and vineyards, reflecting Herat's agricultural heritage. The city's strategic position on the ancient Silk Road has left a lasting impression on its architecture and culture with influences from Persia, India and China visible in every corner. These major cities are more than just points on a map. They are living, breathing entities, each with its own heartbeat and rhythm. They bear the marks of their geographical surroundings, from the high mountain ranges to the expansive deserts. 
Their streets echo with tales of traders from far-off lands, fierce battles, and resilient people rebuilding again and again. These cities, each unique and vibrant, are testament to Afghanistan's resilient spirit. Afghanistan's landscape is as diverse as it is dramatic. Imagine a canvas painted with the majesty of towering mountain ranges, the grace of flowing rivers, and the mystery of semi-arid plains. This is Afghanistan, a country where the terrain tells a story of its own. Dominating the northern part of Afghanistan, the Hindu Kush mountain range stands as a testament to the country's rugged beauty. These mountains are more than just a geographical feature. They are the lifeblood of the nation. Their snow-capped peaks feed the major rivers of Afghanistan, shaping the landscape and influencing the climate. Among these rivers, the Kabul, the Helmand and the Amu Darya stand out. The Kabul River, originating from the Sanglak Range, meanders through the heart of the country, nurturing civilizations along its banks. The Helmand, the longest river in Afghanistan, flows southwest, carving a path through arid landscapes before disappearing into the Sistan marshes. The Amu Darya, on the other hand, serves as a natural border between Afghanistan and its northern neighbors. These rivers and mountains play a significant role in the country's flora and fauna. The Hindu Kush mountains with their varying altitudes host a range of ecosystems, from the snow leopard in the cold high altitude regions to the Marco Polo sheep in the lower mountain ranges. Afghanistan's wildlife is as diverse as its landscape. The riverside plains, in contrast, are home to unique plant species adapted to the semi-arid climate, painting the landscape with a palette of hardy greens. The geographical features of Afghanistan don't just shape its natural environment, but also its human settlements. The fertile valleys nestled between the mountains and along the riverbanks have been cradles of civilization, fostering agricultural communities and urban settlements alike. This is Afghanistan, a land of contrasts and extremes, a place where the harshness of the terrain is matched only by the resilience of its people. A country where every mountain, river and plain tells a story of survival and adaptation. From towering peaks to sweeping river valleys, Afghanistan's geography is a study in extremes. Afghanistan's geography is not just about physical features, it's also about the stories etched into this landscape. Let's embark on a journey through Afghanistan's cultural landmarks, each one a testament to the country's rich history and heritage. Take the Bamiyan Buddhas for instance, these were monumental statues carved into the cliffside of the Bamiyan Valley, standing as proud symbols of Afghanistan's multicultural past. Once the largest standing Buddha sculptures in the world, they served as a significant site for Buddhist pilgrimage until their unfortunate destruction in 2001. But it's not just about the well-known landmarks. Afghanistan's terrain is dotted with lesser-known gems that are just as captivating. The Bandi Amir National Park, for instance, is a marvel of nature's architecture. Its six deep blue lakes, separated by natural dams made of travertine, a form of limestone, are a sight to behold. This park, the first national park of Afghanistan, is a testament to the country's commitment to preserving its natural beauty. Then there's the Minaret of Jam, a 12th century tower nestled in the remote Gore province. Standing at a staggering 65 meters, this ancient structure, adorned with intricate brickwork and blue tiles, is a marvel of the Islamic architectural tradition. And let's not forget about the Panjshir Valley, a place of stunning natural beauty and historical significance. This verdant valley, flanked by towering mountains, has been a strategic location throughout Afghanistan's history and a symbol of resistance during times of conflict. As for the lesser known facts, did you know that Afghanistan is a landlocked country with no direct access to the ocean? Yet it's home to a vast network of rivers, including the Kabul River, which flows through the heart of the capital city. Or how about the fact that Afghanistan sits on the Eurasian tectonic plate, making it a hotspot for earthquakes? Yes, this country is one of constant change and resilience, its geography a testament to its enduring spirit. Every corner of Afghanistan holds a story, a surprise, a piece of history waiting to be discovered. So, what does Afghanistan's geography tell us? Well, nestled in the heart of Asia, Afghanistan is a geographical wonder bordered by a tapestry of nations each with their own unique cultural influences. Its history is etched into its landscapes, from the bustling streets of major cities like Kabul, Kandahar and Herat, to the majestic peaks of the Hindu Kush mountains.
We've explored the intertwining of history and geography, seeing how major historical events have shaped the land and its people. We've also delved into the vibrant biodiversity of Afghanistan, home to an array of unique flora and fauna. Cultural landmarks like the Bamiyan Buddhas and lesser-known geographical gems have given us glimpses into Afghanistan's rich heritage and the resilient spirit of its inhabitants. Afghanistan, a nation shaped by its geography, continues to captivate us with its resilience, diversity and enduring spirit. So, let's keep exploring, nurturing our curiosity and understanding the world around us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and join us next time as we explore the geographical wonders of Albania.